Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, we'll talk about importing X, Y and Z coordinates from Excel file to AutoCAD. And we'll do that using two different methods. In the first method, we'll import the X, Y, Z coordinates using a script file. And in the second method, we'll use Excel formulas to import the coordinates from Excel to AutoCAD. Also here I'll explain the first method of importing points using a script and the second method will be explained by Ajay Anand from Excel and CAD. So let's get started. Now here we have a completely blank drawing. We don't have any points here but we do have an Excel sheet here which has approximately 10,000 point and we need to make a script file like this. Now this script file has all the points that we need here. So the coordinates here and also we have the multiple point command here on the top. So this is what we need to end up with for all the 10,000 points that we have in the Excel sheet. So I'm going to now delete this script file and I'll open this points Excel sheet. Now here in this case we have X, Y and Z coordinates here in these three columns and we have approximately 10,000 rows here as you can see here. So let's first select all of these rows and let's copy the data from these cells. So I'm going to move to the top and I'll select the first cell B1. Now this is the first cell where we have any data. Now let's see which is the last cell and that's in our row 10,102 and the cell is D. So D 10,102 is the last cell. So we need to ensure that the data from the very first cell B1 to this one is completely selected. All right, now to do that, I'll again move to the top. I'll select the cell. Now I'll click here and I'll type colon and the value of cell which is D 10,102 and enter and all the cells are now selected. So let's type control C they're all selected and now we can open a notepad file. So right click and notepad file and I'll just paste the values here. So control and V. All right now we have the values here but we have a problem we have this space character which is not needed. We should remove this. And to remove the space character, we can use the replace option. So I'll go to edit, replace, and here the space character is selected. If not, first make the selection, any space character, then edit and replace. And now we have a space here in the replace with field type comma because we want to replace the space character with comma. Now I'll select replace all and look at this. The space character is now replaced with comma. Click on cancel and now we need to add the very first command. So I'm going to press enter. I'll move it to the top and here you can directly type in the commands for AutoCAD and we want to run the commands on the command line. So I'll start the command with underscore. By adding underscore, you can make AutoCAD run commands directly in the command line. So I'm going to start with multiple and then space. Space is for enter. So in this case, you can add this is space character. Then again, underscore the point command. You can also use its command alias PO if you want. So this is what we have. So now when you save this one as a script file, AutoCAD will run the multiple command first, then it will automatically press the enter key for you because of this space character and then it will run the point command and then it will make all of these 10,000 points for you. You don't have to do anything. So let's now save it. So I'm going to go to multiple, save as and all files and let's give it a name. So let's call it PO and I'll save it with SCR extension. So SCR and save. All right, the file is saved and here it is po.scr. Now to run this file, open AutoCAD and 
type script or scr and press enter now locate the file on the desktop we have the file here double click and AutoCAD will do the rest for you it will run the command in the background and once it is done you're gonna have your points and I think we are done alright so we are done we have the points but the command is still active so I'm gonna now press my escape key and I'll double click my middle mouse wheel to bring everything back in the drawing area and look at this we have approximately 10,000 points here right now the points are in the form of single nodes but you can also change their point type using the p type command now it's over to ajay and he'll explain the second method of importing points which is also pretty easy hi everyone i'm ajay anna from excellent cat in this video i will show you how to create points in an autocad drawing using xyz coordinates otherwise Easting, Northing, and Reduced Levels present in an Excel sheet. In this Excel worksheet, we have the X, Y, and Z coordinates of more than 10,000 points. To export this data into an AutoCAD drawing, otherwise to create points using this data in AutoCAD, we have to convert this data into the language that AutoCAD can understand. To create a point in AutoCAD, point command is used. Type in point in the command bar. Hit the Enter key out spacebar now we have to specify the point there are two methods to specify a point first one is manually entering the xyz coordinates of the point in the command bar and second one is clicking anywhere in the drawing area and an autocad point object will be created at that particular point here i will go with the first method that is feeding the xyz coordinates of the point in the command bar let it be thousand comma thousand comma thousand hit the enter key out space bar and we have a point at thousand thousand with an elevation of thousand to view the information about the newly created point select the point right click and select properties here in the properties window we can see the xyz coordinates of the point once again Point command space 2500 comma 1500 comma 2000 and we have a new point with x coordinate value 2500 y coordinate value 1500 and z coordinate value 2000 And here in the AutoCAD command history, we can see the program flow. If you remember the steps which we followed to create these points, it was point command space x, y, z coordinates of the point. That is point space x coordinate comma y coordinate comma z coordinate will create a point at x comma y with a height of z. And this is where we can make use of Excel formula. Back to our Excel worksheet. We have seen the syntax for creating a point in AutoCAD. It is point space x comma y comma z. Repeating these statements 10,000 times with different values for x, y and z coordinates will create 10,000 discrete points. For creating a point using the coordinates given in the cells B2, C2 and D2, we have to join the data in the cells B2, C2 and D2 preceded by point command concatenate function is used to join strings in excel equal concatenate function open the bracket double quotes point space double quotes comma b2 comma double quotes comma double quotes comma c2 comma double quotes comma double quotes comma B2 and you can see the strings are joined point space XYZ coordinates of the point number one I will drag this formula to the downward cells we'll copy this data 
Now back to our AutoCAD drawing. Paste the data in the command bar. And we just created around 10,000 points by doing that. To cross check the total number of points created, select all, then right click for properties window. And here in the properties window, you can see the total number of points created. I hope you will find this video useful and thanks to SourceCAD for featuring me here. I have a YouTube channel where I do video tutorials related to AutoCAD, Excel and a few more design software packages. The link for my YouTube channel is given in the description of this video. I request all the viewers of SourceCAD to take a look at my channel and provide a feedback. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.